Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about how to pack a carry-on suitcase for a one-week holiday. A carry-on suitcase is ideal for a one-week holiday, not only because it's smaller and easier to lug around, but also because it's cheaper to put on an aeroplane versus a full-size suitcase. They're also going to save you a lot of time at the airport because you don't have to wait around checking them in and waiting at the conveyor belt for your suitcase to come around when you land. You can really fit everything you need for any occasion into one small carry-on. One of the secrets is having an outfit plan similar to a capsule, so almost every piece looks good together. And of course another secret is how to pack it all efficiently. So I'm going to show you that and some other tips in today's video. Let's get into it. So this is my carry-on suitcase. It's from the brand Trip and it's called the Pewter Absolute Light Cabin four-wheel suitcase. I'll leave a link in the description for me if you're interested. It's definitely one of the nicest looking suitcases I've ever had. It measures 55 centimeters in height, 39 centimeters width and 20 centimeters depth. So it's compliant with all the major airlines in terms of carry-on luggage. So to start off, I'm just going to go over all the pieces that make up my outfits or my capsule for this holiday. First of all, you will have heard it before, but it is true. You should wear your heaviest items on the aeroplane. In this case, I'm wearing the warmer clothes because they tend to be the heaviest. So I've got this H&M varsity jacket and I've got these joggers from weekday. I don't really expect to be wearing these because my destination is a warmer place than the UK. It's always good to have an option just in case the weather turns. Next up for shoes, I think you can get away with three pairs. First off are going to be your casual everyday shoes that you're probably going to be wearing out and about on your holiday. I've gone with New Balance 991s which I'm loving at the moment because they're just so comfortable. I also think that grey colour just goes well with absolutely everything. Second pair of shoes I recommend are a smarter pair. Again it depends what kind of holiday you're going on but for me in the evenings we like to go out so I like to dress up a little bit smarter especially if we're going out for food. Here I've got the Doc Martens Adrian loafers which not only look really nice but they're so comfortable. The third and final pair of shoes is going to be something that you can just easily slip on and off whether that be for the beach around the pool or just walking around the hotel. Here I've gone for the Birkenstock Arizonas. Just like the other two pairs of shoes these are super comfortable. So next up is going to be legwear. So you've obviously got the comfortable trousers that you're already wearing on the plane. In addition to that I recommend bringing at least one pair of everyday shorts. These are the shorts you'll probably going to spend most of the time in if you're walking around in the day. I've gone for these black New Balance shorts which sit really nicely just above the knee. Second piece of legwear I recommend getting is again a pair of shorts but something a little bit smarter. This gives you a nice option if you're going somewhere nice but you don't want to put on a pair of trousers because it's far too hot. I've got these pleated shorts from Zara which I picked up a few years ago and I still wear them every summer. And finally I would take at least one pair of smart trousers. As I said in the evenings we do like to go out for food and I like to look a little bit smarter so if it's not too hot I'll put on this smart pair of ASOS cropped chinos. These pair really well with those Doc Martin Adrians I showed off. On body there are several options I think you should bring and the first one is of course going to be t-shirts. Definitely go with a little bit of variety of styles so you can match any occasion. First one I recommend is very obvious is going to be a plain white tee. This will literally go with every other item in this capsule. Similarly a plain black tee for the very same reasons. I also like to have some earth tones in my outfits so I'll throw in this brown t-shirt as well. For the other two t-shirts I'll go for first of all something with a bit of a louder design like these vintage NASCAR t-shirts I like and last up some sort of polo shirt because that gives you that sort of smart casual look. I've really been loving this one I picked up from H&M it's got like a nice ribbed texture and this really nice off-white colour. Next up on top you should definitely bring some collared shirts. I recommend bringing both a long sleeve and a short sleeve. For the long sleeve I've just got this plain white shirt from Ralph Lauren. You can button it all the way up and it will look really smart during the evenings or you can wear it open during the day. For the short sleeve a purely casual option I've gone with a very loud designed resort shirt. This is just a vintage shirt that I found on eBay. I think it cost £3. Last up on top you should definitely bring some vests. Of course they're great when it's far too hot for anything else, you can just wear these as standalone pieces. You can also layer your short or long sleeve button up shirts over these for a really nice look. These two are both from weekday and I've shown them off in my recent vests video. It goes without saying but of course you're going to need at least one pair of underwear and one pair of socks for each day and then I tend to just bring one pair of sleep shorts for going to bed in. These sleep shorts from Calvin Klein are absolutely ideal for hotter weather because they've got a really nice thin stretchy material which doesn't make you sweat. You're also going to have to of course bring some toiletries. What I always do is put my toiletries in a bum bag or fanny pack 
pack. This keeps them contained during the flight, but also when you arrive at your destination, you can empty it and use the bum bag. Always a nice option to have if you're wearing shorts which don't have pockets. Finally, one of the most crucial items which you might not have expected and it's this clothes roller. I always find when I travel that my clothes get so dusty and dirty, so I'll find a bit of room in my suitcase for one of these clothes rollers. Obviously make sure it has a top so it doesn't start sticking to everything in your suitcase. These are super cheap and affordable and just cleaning up your outfit before you go out makes it look so much better. Okay, so let's start packing. So those first pair of comfy shoes are obviously not going in the suitcase so they can go off to the side. The second pair of smart shoes I like to put in first. And then a big tip is to stuff your socks into your shoes. This does two things. First of all, it uses the space in the suitcase as efficiently as possible, but it also protects your shoes, especially if you've got some shoes like this, which you don't want to get damaged. By stuffing them with the socks, it sort of acts like a shoe tree and holds for shape. So when you pile everything else into the suitcase, your shoes are not gonna get misshapen. Next up, I'm gonna start putting my t-shirts in. And you've definitely heard or seen this before, but I like to roll my t-shirts up. There might be better ways of doing it, but this is definitely the easiest way. I fold the t-shirt in half, and then I tuck the arms in, and then I fold the t-shirt in half again. Then I roll it up from the bottom. This makes the t-shirts really small and compact, and you can sort of squeeze them in next to each other. I also find that rolling them up creates a lot less creases than folding does. So I will do that with all of my t-shirts, shirts, and vests. And then I will just plop them in wherever they fit nicely. This isn't an aesthetics contest, so I wouldn't worry too much about getting them in there neatly. So that pretty much finishes up the left side of this suitcase. So I'll zip up the netting so none of those t-shirts or socks fall out. Next up, starting on the right side of the suitcase, and it's gonna be the same story again. I'm gonna roll up my shorts, trousers, and all of my underwear in the same way I did with the t-shirts. I'll put them all in wherever they fit best, and then on top of those, I will put my sandals and my bum bag, which is filled with toiletries. And that is really it for the packing. It doesn't look like a lot, but I've got the potential for many different outfits within this small carry-on. Plus, I've got two extra pair of shoes and all my toiletries. But we're not quite done. There are some other key things that I recommend doing before you get on your flight. First of all, I would definitely put some sort of identifier on your suitcase. A lot of us buy our suitcases from the same shops so there can easily be a mix-up and I've been on holiday with friends where they've lost their suitcase and there is nothing worse. So I recommend adding something to your suitcase just so it easily stands out from a crowd of suitcases. Amazon sell a lot of different solutions for this but it can be as simple as putting a sticker on your suitcase or just a bit of ribbon like I am here. This is even more important for your larger suitcases which are gonna be on a conveyor belt because there's not much stopping someone just picking up your suitcase and walking off with it. So it's great to be able to very quickly and easily identify your suitcase from a distance. Additionally, just take a photo of your suitcase with the identifier on it and take a photo of your possessions inside before you leave. If your suitcase does go missing and you've got some valuables inside, it's good to have evidence of it for insurance purposes. And you're gonna think I'm really paranoid, but I do have a final bit of advice just to keep your luggage safe. And that is to get a little bit of duct tape and put an identifier on it like your initials, for example, and then stick that duct tape somewhere within the suitcase. A lot of them like mine have this zip where you can get behind the lining. So just stick your little bit of duct tape within there. In the worst case scenario where someone has perhaps stolen your luggage and removed your bit of ribbon, you'll have another way of easily proving that this suitcase belongs to you. So those are my tips for creating a capsule and packing it for a one week holiday. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.